God bless you. And uh, so we're going to go right to the word and going to be before you briefly on today. We're so thankful that God has blessed us to see a year, amen, amen, amen. like this and to see us through it. Uh, Pastor Michelle mentioned that plane and uh, the one that went earlier, missing earlier this year. You all know we started off early in the year. There's one they still have not located. And so uh, it, it gives credence to the scripture that says in the last days said that when the Lord sounds the trumpet that the sea will give up its dead. So no matter where people have gone down and where they have been lost, the Lord will resurrect them in that day. Amen. Everybody has to stand before the judgment seat of Christ. And I, I just wanted to say that because it doesn't matter what we've done. And sometimes we live like we have forever. We live like we're still going to be here tomorrow. We just, we honestly don't know. Amen. Is that... Uh, we leave this world sometimes sooner than expected and we want to be it is the hope of the gospel that everyone who meets god is prepared to yes. meet him uh saint john the eighth chapter want to take you there briefly once again briefly today um in the 28th verse then said jesus unto them when you have lifted up the Son of Man, then shall you know that I am He, and that I do nothing of myself, but as my Father has taught me, I speak these things. And He that has sent me is with me. The Father has not left me alone, for I do always those things that please Him. As He spake these words, many believed on him. Notice that as he spake these words, many believed on him. Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him, if ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. And the 36th verse is a continuation. If the Son, therefore, shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. I want to uh, point out, number one, that in the 36th verse there, he said, if the Son, therefore, shall make you free. Most of us that read this verse, read it, if the Son set you free. But there's a difference between being made free and being set free. Am I right? There's a difference between those two words, set and made. So we are made free. Made free because of what Jesus accomplished for us. Um, look back at verse 31 for just a moment. Je Jesus said to these Jews which believed on him, if ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed. I'm afraid. Thank you. You can take your seats for a moment and I'll announce the text. <laughs> I'm afraid that there are many who begin, All right. who start off in life don't see the end of life or they see it but it's before it's time all right he said if there are people who can start things who begin things but never get around to finishing it uh in the old testament there's a scripture that talks about a king having a fleet of ships that never sailed uh, you imagine having uh, a ship that you never get to sail, a car that you never get to drive, a house that you never get to live in, money that you never get to spend. There are people who start off with things but end up never being able to see the end or to realize the joy of that thing. 
there are people who say that uh, I'm going to go to school, but they never get around to finishing school. I'm going to have my career, and they start off working on a job, but they never have that career. When I get married, they never get a chance to get married. When I have children, they get married, but they never get a chance to have children. For some reason, their plans become upset in life. Jesus said, if when you start these things, when you believe in me, there must be a continuation. He said, if, if, uh, whenever there is an if involved, you can bet that there's one of us involved. There's a human element. All right. There's an element of chance that this, if, if, if it can happen, there's a chance that it might not happen. All right. Isn't that right? All right. So, so when if is involved, there's always a human element that our plans might be upset. But he said, if you continue in my word, then you are my disciples indeed. I'm going to talk about today briefly, you must go on. You must go on. Um, I love the, the holiday season, and I don't uh, just believe in just saying holidays for the uh, purpose of not offending somebody. Some folks don't want you to say Christmas. You can say everything else, but they don't want you to say Christmas. Amen. Uh, Xmas and they abbreviated all kinds of ways and and then celebrate Hanukkah they celebrate uh, what's the other Kwanzaa they celebrate everything else they can possibly but it's all about Christmas is all about Christ the celebration of Christ celebrating Christ Christmas uh, but I love this entire season. My, my wife said that, Pastor Michelle said that this is a season. So it's not just one day, but it is a season. So not just uh, Christmas, but the new year, leading into the new year, and celebrating of the new year. And it's appropriate that as we come to the end of something, that we sit down and we think about what we went through. You know, I, I heard some of you say, Sister Betty, and some others say that things, I had some rough times. I had some difficult moments. And if you multiply that, you can multiply that by everybody in here. Mm -hmm. There are some of our young people who go to school who I didn't think I was going to make it. I had a rough time with that class. This relationship, I had a rough time with that. I didn't think I was going to make it. And I thought I was going to lose my ever-loving mind. Amen. But I'm still here by the grace of God. Amen. Amen. So all of us have difficult moments. Amen. Isn't that right? Amen. All of us have challenges. And if we ever, if the devil ever convinces you that you're the only one that's going through it, you're the only one nobody understands you, and he's whispering your mind, you may as well just check yourself on out. Amen. Then you start listening to that voice, then you find yourself out of here before God intended for you to be out of here. And so there must be a continuation. Even though there are difficulties, Mother Blair reminded us some months ago that the bumps, the rough places, are the things that you climb on. They're rough places. Life isn't meant to be always easy. There are people who tell you that every, if you're a child of God, you ought not be broke. Everybody get broke sometimes. You know, it's easy for somebody to say you ought never be broke. Uh, you know, normally what that means, they ain't got something. And if you think every child of God wasn't meant to be broke, why don't you share what you got with them? But I guarantee you, if you suggest that, ah, I got mine, you, you got to get your... You know, they, you see real quick where their faith is in you having something. Uh, <laughs> but Jesus said there must be, if you believe on me now, there has to be a continuation <coughs> in this. You must uh, go on. You must continue. Yeah. Don't stop. Yeah. 
If you're going to hell, don't stop. Keep going. Go ahead. It, it, eventually, if you go into a storm, if you keep going, eventually you're going to go out of the storm. So don't feel like it's going to always, don't let the devil trick you into think you never thing never going to change. It's never going to get better for you. No. The Bible said, I may face other storms, but if I can get through this one, God will give me strength to get through the next one. Mm -hmm.